Hello, hello, hello. Um, this is gonna be a test review for printers for the 801. Um, if you're planning to take your test, this might be helpful for you. And um, this is also helpful for me. So I'm gonna begin the part for printers. Uh, please try to pay attention, pause the video to try to answer some of the questions that you might encounter and see um, in this video. Um, um, good luck. Uh, best of luck paying attention and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's uh, useful for you. Uh, let's begin. 40 minutes is the time that we have for the printer part of this test. So uh, let's try our best. Okay, the first question says special paper is needed to print on what kind of printer? Um, I would go with the terminal printer. I know you need special paper for the terminal printer and I know a, the terminal print, printer cannot be too hot before you actually use it. It has to be put in a cool place. So I think you need special print uh, paper for the terminal printer. Um, so that's going to be my answer B. Let me see what the, uh, let me just review the question one more time. Special paper is needed to print what kind of paper? Terminal printers. Let me see. Yes, I am right. Regular paper can be used in all listed printers except for the terminal pr printers, which use spe specifically coated paper that is heated to create the image. A dot matrix, a dot matrix might use a tractor feed paper, but that is the standard for many dot matrix printer. It is also still considered a regular paper. A laser printer or dot matrix printer might use two. Um, part paper but two part paper isn't necessarily um, for laser printers or dot matrix printers to operate terminal printers won't work unless you use specifically coated paper inject printers um, normally use standard copy paper for printing so special paper is needed to print what kind of printer um, a terminal printer special paper is needed for a terminal printer all right let's go to the next uh, question um, how can you take control of the network printer from a remote computer so how can you take control of a network printer from a remote computer um, number a says install the printer locally and access the sharing tab number B says install the printer locally and access the spool settings. Number three says install the printer locally and access the ports tab. Number D says connect to the printer via FTP. I'm gonna go with this one. Let me see what the correct answer is according to this test. The correct answer is after you install the driver for the printer locally, you can take control of it by going to the properties of the printer and access the ports tab then click the add port button and select the standard tcp slash ip port option you will have to know the ip address of the printer or the computer that it, that the printer is connected to so let me read that one more time so how can you take control um, of a pr uh, network printer from a remote computer how can you take control of a network printer a network printer from a remote computer um, you must install the printer locally I guess with the drivers and stuff install the printer locally and access the ports tab after you install the driver for the printer locally um, you can take control of it by going to the properties of the printer and accessing the ports tab then click the add port button and select the standard TCP slash IP port option you will have to know the IP address of the printer or the computer that the printer is connected to so you have to install the drivers and you have to um, know the IP address um, that the printer is connected to the IP address of the computer that the printer is uh, connected to all right let's go to the next uh question which of the following should should not be connected to a ups a pc should be connected to a ups i guess you know if uh power outages or, or something crazy happens or spikes monitors i guess they could be in a in a 
in a UPS speakers I guess you could put also put that in a UPS a laser printer maybe you shouldn't because um, it's a laser printer takes up a lot of energy so it, it might completely drain your battery let me see yes I'm right laser printers use large amounts of electricity which in turn could quickly drain the battery of the UPS they should be plugged into their own individual power strips next question um, this type of printer uses impact to transfer ink from a ribbon to the paper from a ribbon I'll say dot matrix Correct. The dot matrix print. The dot matrix is a type of impact printer. It uses print head to physically impact the ribbon and transfer ink to the paper. Laser printers apply turn toner to the paper. Laser printers. Laser printers apply toner to the paper through varying voltage. So laser printers apply toner to the paper through varying voltage. Inject printers spray ink from the cartridge onto the paper. Terminal paper is specially coated and forms text when it is heated properly. So what type of uh, printer uses impact to transfer ink from a ribbon to the paper? Dot matrix. Dot matrix uses impact to transfer ink from the ribbon to the paper. It uses impact to transfer ink from the ribbon to the paper. A dot matrix printer. All right. Next uh, question. Um, which of the following best describes printing in duplex? Um, print to file, full duplex and printer communication, print collation printing on both sides of the paper I'll say is a printing on both sides of the paper so which of the following best describes printing in duplex printing in duplex is printing on both sides of the paper printing in duplex is printing on both sides of the paper let me see yep I am right um, when printing duplex it means that you are printing on both sides of the paper if the paper has the it has that capability some laser printers can do this but it creates a longer total paper path which leads to more frequent paper jams collation is when documents are printed in a standard order usually numerically fully duplex in network in networking is when information can be sent and received simultaneously a printer can have a full duplex connection to the network but this question is referring to printing in duplex printing to file is a process that can be performed by Windows instead of selecting a physical printer when printing a document Windows prints to a special file and saves that file to a location on your choice with dot PRN extension so which of the following best describes printing in duplex a printing on both sides of the paper a color laser printer is producing images that seem to be tinted blue what should you do clean the tonal cartridge um hey, this is a laser okay Cl um, clean the tonal cartridge calibrate the printer change the fusing assembly uh, clean the primary corona I think that's what that means uh, my answer would be calibrate the printer um, because since it's printing in blue that means the color must be messed up or something so calibrating the printer probably is the best answer and the answer is right yep awesome um, answer B after installing a printer it is important to calibrate it for color and orientation especially if you are installing a color laser printer or an inkjet printer these calibration tools are usually built into the printer's software and can be accessed from Windows or you can access them from the printer's display. If a toner cartridge needs to be cleaned, if a toner cartridge needs to be cleaned, um, it probably has a leak and should be replaced. The fusing assembly needs to be changed only when it fails. The fusing assembly needs to be changed only when it fails. Many printers will give you an indication that the fuser is at 20% life and needs to be replaced soon. If the fuser fails, the toner will fail to stick to the paper. 
the primary corona wire can be cleaned it is near the drum this can help with other types of print quality problems such as lines and smearing so if there's lines and smearing it might be the corona wire um yeah on to the next question Terry's finishes installing a printer for a customer what should she do next nest um, I'll say print a test page right after you're done um, answer B print a test page after installation if the test page prints properly it should be unnecessary to print a page in word restarting the spooler is not needed if the printer has just been installed I um, the spooler should already be running if that has failed that would be a separate troubleshooting scenario scenario separator pages are not necessary they are optional and can be configured in the printer properties window all right so Terry finishes installing printer for a customer what should she do next nest she should print a test page all right she should print a test page um, which of the following is not a connector you might find on a printer? Um, not a connector that you might find on a printer. You'll probably find an RG45 on a printer. You'll probably find a USB on a printer. A PCI? Mm, I know that's for computers. I know PCI, PCI slots, PCI um, things that PCI cards. You really wouldn't find a PCI on a computer. A Citronics? I don't think you would find that on a uh, printer either. Let me see. Yep, I am right. Printers might be connected via RJ45 USB electronics. However, PCIe is an internal expansion bus that printers do not use. USB is the most common for local printers and meaning uh, meaning ones that that connects I'm sorry. USB is the most common for local printers, meaning ones that connect directly to the printer. Citronic is an older printer connector. A printer cable could have a Citronix connector on the printer. A printer cable could have a Citronix connector on the printer side. A 25 pin parallel connector for the computer side. So a printer cable would have a Citronix connector on the printer side and a 25 pin parallel connector for the computer side which would connect to the LPT port. If the printer is a network ready it will have a built in RJ45 port. Mm, let me check this out on um, Google. If it lets me. Hopefully it lets me. Um, eh, I guess it's not working. Anyways, let me go to the next question. I was going to check out how exactly something looked like in, uh, in Google. Mm, taking too long. All right. The next question is what happens last in a laser printer process? Um, what happens last in the laser printer process? I'm going to go from um I know the first thing that happens is process it, it processes the the uh, image or whatever. Next is charging. Um, next is charging. Um, next is exposing next is developing next is transferring and the last is fusing i know for sure that the last is fusing and after fusing is cleaning but uh cleaning is not given in this option so i'm gonna go with fusing so what happens last in the laser printing process i'll say fusing yes fusing so what type of printer uses a toner cartridge uh, a toner cartridge 
a laser printer uses a toner cartridge, an inkjet printer uses an ink cartridge, a, a terminal printer uh, uses coated paper, and a dot matrix printer, um, I'm not sure about that one, but I am right about this one for sure. Print, uh, laser printers use toner cartridges, inject printer uses ink cartridges, dot matrix printers use ribbon, oh, okay that's what a dot matrix printer uses. So a dot matrix printer uses ribbons. A terminal printer use, use, use specially coated paper that is heated. So a dot matrix printer uses ribbons. A dot matrix printer uses ribbons. Awesome. So which environmental issue affects a terminal printer? I'll say heat, heat and um, temperature, moisture. Um. Not really. ESD, not really. Dirt, dirt affects everything, really. Um, and moisture could affect stuff. Um, but I'll say heat. Heat is probably the most appropriate answer at this point. So heat is a number one enemy of the terminal printer. I'm not gonna read the rest. You could pause it and read the read the rest if you wish. Um, oh yeah, this is the uh, last. Uh, question so actually let me just read it let me not be lazy heat is the number one enemy to a terminal printer if the terminal printer or the terminal paper is kept in a location where the temperature is too high it could cause failure to the printer and damage to the paper excessive moisture can cause rubber rollers and separation paths to fail over time electrostatic discharge ESD is the is always a foe but only if you are working inside the printer, inside. Dirt can clog up the works over time in any device, but by far heat is the is, is what to watch, what you have to watch out for with terminal printers, so heat. And exam, and yay, we passed it with 100 points, 11 questions altogether. So those are some printer um, questions that you might encounter on the 801 so um, hopefully if you really didn't um, know the answers to a lot of these you should probably review some printer stuff for the 801 um, I ho hopefully you could use this as a uh, as a uh, help you know some of these questions you might even find on the test so uh, have a good day I hope you enjoy watching watching this please like subscribe favorite or whatever the heck you guys do um hopefully somebody's watching this and um hopefully this is helpful to somebody or me if i uh choose to uh get my 801 in the future uh I'm retake the 801 in the future so that's the best i could do for right now i hope you enjoyed it um bye